may have love. He came down that we may have love. Hallelujah forevermore. He came down that we may have love. He came down that we may have love. He came down that we may have love. Hallelujah forevermore. He came down that we may have love. He came down that we may have love. He came down that we may have love. Hallelujah forevermore. Hello, welcome to worship on this second Sunday of Advent. Uh, before we get going, just have a few announcements for everybody. The first one is uh, we ask that you stay tuned for our Christmas uh, Eve uh, worship schedule. We'll be getting, out, getting that out soon, so just have some patience and feel free to call church if you have questions. Also, if you have a, a child or a grandchild who would like to maybe participate in our, in our children's program, uh, it's going to be all virtual. Uh, we, will, uh, we will send you um, a line or two or, or a part that your child can record. Uh, we can do some recording here or if you feel more comfortable recording at your house uh, or at your home and sending it in, uh, we can do that as well. Uh, so again, just feel free to contact church if you uh, have questions or if you have a child interested. And last but certainly not least, uh, if you're interested in doing some special music for our online Christmas Eve uh, worship, uh, please let us know. Um, you can either set up a time and record it here at church, or if you want to record it at home, you can do that as well again. Um, but just let us know so we know how much music to plan for. So with that... Uh, we'll begin our worship. Come back, Lord Jesus, and do not be slow. Refine, renew, restore. We hope, we yearn. When is this coming? Why can we not know how long we have to wait for your return? Come back, Lord Jesus, and do not be slow. Or help us in the lingering to learn your saving way that savours love and so refine, renew, restore. We hope, we yearn. Come back, Lord Jesus, and do not be slow. Refine, renew, restore. We hope, we yearn. We begin with the lighting of our Advent wreath. We light the second candle here for the second coming of Christ. He will return, ending pain and fear, restoring the world to life. Jesus, we trust in your return. O come, O come, Emmanuel. Help us live with patient hope. O come, O come, Emmanuel. Trust your word to be 
Let us pray. Stir up our hearts, Lord God, to, to prepare the way of your only Son. Help us to have active patience by serving you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Scripture reading, 2 Peter 3, 8 through 15. Do not ignore this one fact, beloved, that with the Lord one day is like a thousand years, and a thousand years are like one day. The Lord is not slow about his promise, as some think of slowness, but is patient with you, 
not wanting any to perish, but all to come to repentance. But the day of the Lord will come like a thief, and then the heavens will pass away with a loud noise, and the elements will be dissolved with fire, and the earth and everything that is done on it will be disclosed. Since all these things are to be dissolved in this way, what what sort of persons ought you to be in leading lives of holiness and godliness, waiting for the hastening, the coming of the day of God, because of which the heavens will be set ablaze and dissolved, and the elements will melt with fire, but in accordance with his promise, we wait for new heavens and new earth, where righteousness is at home. Therefore, beloved, while you are waiting for these things, strive to be found by any at him strive to be found by him at peace without spot or blemish and and regard his patience and regard the patience of our lord as salvation grace and peace to you from god our father and from our lord and savior jesus christ amen as christmas approaches i wonder how patient are you when it comes to waiting? Will you patiently eat just one chocolate from your advent calendar? Or are you going to try to scoff them all down within a week? Can you resist having just a sneak look at the presents that are under the, under the tree? Are you holding back from putting up your Christmas decorations until just a few days before? Or have they been up for a while already? And how many of you have been listening to Christmas music since October? I'd like to share with you a story that I think maybe helps illustrate just what active patience is. I was a student chaplain in Fargo many, many years ago, and a local doctor's organization sponsored a child from Mongolia to come and have major heart surgery. The child was on the floor that I was assigned to, so I became quite acquainted with the situation. The day of the surgery, I was told that the mother was just sitting in the room uh, that her child was in. So I go into the room, and I see the mother just simply sitting there, uh, calmly doing some knitting. I remember sitting down, and the mother just looked at me, and she kind of gave me a nod, and she gave me a smile. She did not speak English, and of course, I did not speak Chinese. I remember getting up and uh, getting her a cup of coffee, and I did not need to speak Chinese to know that she did not like the coffee. So I went and got her some water. But what struck me in this whole situation was how the mother just calmly sat there doing her knitting. Knowing myself, I'd probably be up doing a lot of pacing, going back and forth. I'd probably be stopping every person in the, in the hallway looking for an update, wanting to know how the surgery is going. But this mother just kept there, sitting, knitting, going about her business. After the surgery, I was informed by one of the members of the medical team uh, how much the mother just appreciated me just sitting and being with her. He went on to say it helped her keep calm and made the waiting a whole lot easier. The patience shown in that situation could have only been given to us by God. I could have easily seen this situation going completely different with a frantic mother and a young student chaplain not knowing what to do. Yet God broke into the chaos to bring peace and patience to assist his people in getting through a very difficult situation. From 2 Peter, we hear that while we wait, we are to strive to find peace in God. Now, yes, I agree that can be easier said than done. However, when we uh, calm ourselves, when we hand over all of our burdens and problems to God, God can only do one thing, and that is to give us comfort and peace. 
Many times in scripture, we see Jesus using patience to deal with his disciples and other followers. For example, when people are running all around wondering where people are going to find food at the feeding of the 5,000, Jesus patiently steps up and he asks his father to take care of the situation. When Jesus asks who I am, he patiently waits as the disciples talk amongst themselves until Peter steps up and professes that Jesus is the Son of God. The patience Christ shows to his disciples is the same patience that Christ shows to us. How many times do we get the answer wrong? How many times do we do something that we shouldn't? Yet Christ does not tell us to go away. Christ doesn't say that he's done with us. But he patiently comes alongside of us and remembers and, 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 and reminds us that we are loved, that we are loved, and reminds us that we are forgiven. The patient Christ has given to us is a sign of the commitment and love that God has for all of his people. As we wait patiently for the arrival of the Messiah, we give thanks for, for the love and for the patient that God shows us so that we can then show the same love and forgiveness and patience to others. Amen. We continue with our confession prayer. Jesus, Prince of Peace, teach us to walk in your rhythms of grace. Holy God, forgive our impatience with everyday life. We, we rush around irritated at delays, frustrated with things and people which do not move at the pace we would like. Jesus, Prince of Peace, teach us to walk in your rhythms of grace. Holy God, forgive our impatience with answers to prayer. Sometimes we treat you like a vending machine or assume to know your will and your best for us. Help us to trust your timing and your, good, and your kindness. Jesus, Prince of Peace, teach us to walk in your rhythms of grace. Holy God, forgive our impatience with your coming again. You are not slow, you are patient. You and you long for all to come to you willingly. May we live in holy anticipation of your return. Jesus, Prince of Peace, teach us to walk in your rhythms of grace. Thank you that you are gracious and compassionate, slow to anger and rich in love. You are patient with our mistakes and forgive our sins. We receive your peace afresh today. Jesus, Prince of Peace, teach us to walk in rhythms of grace. Amen. We continue with our prayers of intercession. Faithful God, you teach us to wait uh, for you with faithfulness and patience. Sustain and support us in our doubts and questions. Nurture our faith as we discern and enact your mission. Hear us, O oh God, your mercy is great. Steadfast God, you are never tired of seeking justice. Where people suffer from discrimination, judgment, and injustice, speak words of comfort and truth. Lead us toward a world where faithfulness will sprout underfoot and righteousness rain down from above. Hear us, O God, your mercy is great. Tender God, you know what sorrow and joy are like. We pray for those in our families and congregations who are not joyful this holiday season. Comfort those who grieve. Be, be a companion to all who are lonely. Tend to those who are sick or struggling with depression. And gather all people in your healing, healing embrace. Hear us, O oh God, your mercy is great. Draw us to you, O oh God, and receive our prayers for the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.
Generous God, you have cr created all that is, and you provide for us in every season. Bless all, who s bless all that we offer, that through these gifts, the world will receive your blessing. In Jesus' name, Emmanuel, we pray. Amen. Please join me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Hear the blessing. The creator of the stars, Bless you and your Advent waiting. The long-expected Savior will fill you with love. The unexpected Spirit guide your journey both now and forever. Amen. In Christ, you are a new creation, remade, renewed, restored. Jesus, you will come again, perfecting all creation. Remade, renewed, restored. Help us live in the light of your coming, lives of grace and peace, remaking, renewing, restoring. Send us out to bless the earth and bless all people, remaking, renewing, and restoring. Amen. Amen.